Can you tell me more about how some of my symptoms might have deeper roots? Sure. Um, it's always you know, the, the thing you want to, that's the art of the medicine, is always to be able to figure out where the patient is at. Not everybody's going to be uh, available to go back to the early stages of an issue. A, a, an issue in a physical way could be that you, um, you were a little kid and you were playing and you fell and landed on your tailbone. And, and you just got up, you know, might have cried a little bit, and then you just cruised along the, you know, the whole way um, with that. And so that's a, like a physical abnormality. And you never really... It was never really caught, you know, you just bruised your butt and, and it went away. And then throughout your life, your sacrum has been off, your, your, your whole back here, this has been slightly tilted. And so you had to overcorrect yourself your whole life. And then you get involved in sports and then you start landing and jumping and doing gymnastics or what have you. And your body starts to have to compensate at the same time. Your muscles have to start to tighten up or the fascia, that saran wrap that goes over each muscle fiber or muscle fibers by themselves, everything starts to have it to compensate. And so you start to get little torques and turns in different ways. And so like we were using before, if the hips are forward, you know, instead of my head being like in this position, I have to kind of do this to compensate. And so that shortens this up. And so, it, and then it can also be, a, uh, it can be emotional trauma where, um, there was a specific event that occurred where there was a, a conflict, uh, there was an argument or what have you, and, um, and that created a holding pattern. Like when we were talking about asthma, all of a sudden you were uh, being shamed or yelled at and, and you're so afraid that you gasp in, in a sense in fear. <gasps> and you don't know how to let that go. So, and this goes into the clearing type where, so as you do that, you're not able to let go. And so as I do that physically, I have a physical pattern of holding up in my chest. My diaphragm all of a sudden is up here, I can't relax. And all of a sudden I've got this breathing issue that's going on. Or I might have uh, even trouble eliminating through my intestines because I'm holding, because I'm afraid. So it, it can go as deep as you're comfortable with. Um, a lot of times people will come to you first with just a physical thing and they could say, oh, you know, my back hurts me. And then they're like, oh yeah, I fell skiing. And then once you start to correct their back, they all of a sudden go, you know, I also was told when I was two, I fell out of the car or the truck. And so the memories start coming because there's a way that your body copes to deal with these things. And they don't have to be physical. They can be mental, emotional, or spiritual. And so if that patient is open, if we can go around and try to balance all or work and balance all those aspects, they'll be free from that pain.